my take on the 2015 NFL Draft Colts selections. Uh, everybody had to question the initial pick of the fast burner, Philip Dorsett, uh, wide receiver, with the release of uh, Joshua Cribs. Um, I think he'll fill a role as a return specialist uh, for the Colts, as well as uh, he can play outside like a TY, as well as a slot receiver. Uh, he did average over 24 yards per reception, and he was the best uh, player available on the board, uh, although there were a lot of needs to fill by the Colts uh, initially in everybody's opinion. I felt like this, uh, if, you, if you play the tape of Philip Dorsett, you see why the Colts pick him up. Also, you got the uh, likelihood that uh, Dante Moncrief um, and the young players with T.Y. Hilton give Andrew Luck a little bit of time uh, to mature to you know a great wide receiving core even after the, the Andre Johnson uh, type individuals leave. So um, you know I think that's a, a solid pick uh, trading trading down to get uh, Dewan uh, defensive end. Um, it's a necessary replacement for Robert Mathis. Also, he can step in and play uh, in situational uh, events. Uh, we all know that uh, we need that pass rush in Indy uh, when we score a lot of points. Uh, we also need to stop the opposing teams on third down, and we have the corners and the nickelbacks to do that, but we also need the pass rush, which was somewhat uh, lacking last year. Uh, Werner probably will step up a little bit better this year. Mathis is back. We don't know what to what full extent there. Um, you know, coming off the Achilles, so uh, just shoring up the defensive end spot there, uh, I believe, was a healthy pick and an absolute need. Uh, you know, going from there, we definitely needed a safety, um, which we got the poor man's version of Collins. Uh, a lot of individuals felt like, and probably a lot of people from Indiana felt like, we should have picked up Collins, um, who was traded up um, to to get Collins out of Alabama. However, you know, I feel like uh, you know, a pretty solid pick there. He's going to be able. To, he's very run stop oriented. His coverage is a little suspect, uh, but I believe he'll he'll help us in that regards. Uh, stopping the run, which is the main uh, reason why we lost to New England and other teams that ran the ball on us pretty well. Um, Shoring up the pick with the Stanford kid uh, at defensive tackle. Um, you know, he he is a good, good solid fit uh, for Andy. Obviously, he'll be a rotational player coming in uh, to stop the run and push uh, some pressure. Uh, in the uh, division there uh, with the new quarterbacks, Mariota, uh, Blake Border, Bortles, and uh, Houston's quarterback uh, to provide some pressure inside. But, you know, mainly stop the run with Darian Foster, um, you know, and, and uh, T.J. McClendon out of Jacksonville. So, uh, you know, a good pick there. Um, we stretched a little bit further after that. Uh, you know, I think it's where you get into the, the sixth, seventh, fifth, sixth, seventh rounds, and you just go for need. Uh, obviously, the the good kid out of Mars Hill, absolutely nobody has heard of. But I caught some tape on YouTube, and I just thought uh, he was pretty impressive. Um, not sure, you know, at the level he's on uh, with these other major collegiate programs, but, um, you know, he'll have a chance to compete for position there with the additional um, people brought in to um, Indianapolis to free agency. I, you know, I feel like he'll be able to compete for a position. I, I believe he's listed as a tackle. Um, looks like he's a pretty good fit for the pass um, defense, um, but uh, he may be big enough to move to an offensive guard position to um, 
help out with the Frank Gore acquisition. Uh, other than that, we, we, we did uh, grab a, a backup running back. Mississippi State um, is a good athlete. Um, he's a pounder. He's a Frank Gore back type back. So uh, he'll get to learn from one of the one of the better backs uh, to provide his services uh, for the Colts. And uh, you know, overall, uh, you know, obviously 29th pick in every round and uh, trying to fulfill needs on the defensive end of the ball. Um, they grab the inside linebacker uh, who is a tackler. Um, so, you know, was able to get some of the key cogs, missing pieces that we needed uh, for the Colts to, to make a run uh, essentially against New England uh, to get to the Super Bowl this year. Uh, and with the addition of defensive end, defensive tackles, safety, and inside linebacker, I think we addressed all four of those issues in the, in the process. We, we got an uh, excellent wide receiver with uh, excellent speed, comparisons to John Brown down here in Houston, uh, or down here in Arizona where I'm at. So, um, you know, I think I like that comparison, and I think he'll do really well for the team. Um, Going forward, uh, you know, it's it's probably a B grade for Griggs. And, um, you know, everybody will have their ups and downs about not getting the best safety available. But, uh, you know, I think the safety that we did get, once you see uh, that he's not going to be a starter, um, not with the safeties we have now, but he could potentially grow into our starter. It allows us to compete. Uh, for these levels uh, in, the, in the AFC here uh, for the next couple of years. Obviously, luck is going to be a big portion of that. Um, I was surprised not to see uh, another defensive tackle possibly go off the board uh, as a run stopper for our team. But, uh, you know, those things can be uh, hashed out with uh, – free agency pickups uh, for non-drafted players. Uh, I know there was a lot that were mentioned by Mayock and, and several other guys that uh, could be picked up in, in, in that regard. Um, obviously on the offensive side of the ball, an offensive lineman or two, um, just to have uh, substitutes uh, for uh, and backups. Uh, for expendable players that may get hurt during the season, uh, protecting the locks. So, uh, overall, um, that's my eight minute summarization of the Indianapolis Colts uh, draft in 2015. Not highly uh, acclaimed by any means, but uh, went after the players that we uh, really had an area that we needed. Obviously, through, we've done a lot through free agency, which has helped. And, you know, I believe that uh, we're looking in the right direction. And over a couple of years, I think these picks will pan out. And I'm, uh, I'm pretty excited to see the 2015-2016 uh, Indianapolis Colts uh, go to work. So um, if you have any comments, just shoot them back on my Facebook page. Um, obviously, uh, you can reach me by email as well. Uh, looking forward to Jeremy Penrod and his assessment of the draft as far as the Colts go. Obviously, we've been going back one, two, uh, counterpunch for uh, well over 15 years, um, well, 20 years at that guards. And uh, I'd like to have his opinions on the Indianapolis Colts draft. And uh, anybody else wants to weigh in, um, I'd appreciate that as well. So, look forward to the Colts. Uh, go horse. 2015-2016, signing off from Surprise, Arizona, uh, where it's a beautiful 95 and sunny. Well, it is every day. Um, if you have a chance, come down and visit.